Mountain, don't shoot oh. the kid right there. I'm freaking out. I mean, look at that. That's ridiculous. Woo! Should I get my camel on? I don't think we've got time for camel. shoot him in my underwear. I didn't have time. Welcome to this special edition of The Zone. This week I'd like to share with you an in-depth look into the life of my friend and partner James Bryan. Now James is not only a professional hunter and outfitter, he's also a dedicated husband and father. And later in the show, we're going to get to see one of James's all-time most memorable hunts. I've known James for almost 20 years, and we first met when I started booking turkey hunts at his hunting operation, Goblin Grunt Outfitters. I'm sure way back then, James never dreamed that we would be hosting TV shows together and he would be running Magnum Global Media. That's just a testament to what honesty and hard work will get you in the long run. We're in a pretty good position. I couldn't ask for anything better right now. James is not just an outfitter. He's also a very well-traveled trophy guy. hunter. He's hunted numerous countries in Africa, remote places like the Kamchatka Peninsula, and he's done more wilderness mountain hunts than I can count. His newest quest is for the North American Super Slam, and he's put quite a dent in it already, taking three of the four sheep species and about two-thirds of the others. It's been a lot of years of hunting, and I cannot explain this feeling at all. Congratulations. Being the logical guy James is, he expanded his role in the outdoor industry by also becoming a hunt consultant and then sharing his own experiences and adventures as a TV host. He now hosts two shows and produces four. James is also a serious family guy, and in the off-season, you'll find him very active with his wife, Jane, and their four kids. Whether they're water skiing, shooting at the gun range, or just enjoying Montana's Rocky Mountain lifestyle, the Bryans spend lots of quality time together. I feel bad for kids who have to live with normal dads. And sometimes I don't. One of the coolest things the Bryans do each spring is what they call more than an Easter egg hunt. This is where kids from the local community not only get to go on an Easter egg hunt, but they also get to meet some of the characters that were there on the first Easter. This has become a big community event and now takes place at the Magnum Studios, where a lot of our staff help with the production and sharing this unique concept with the rest of the world. I hate to break this up to everybody, it's so much fun, but are we all ready for another trip? But as soon as Easter is over, James's focus shifts straight to the turkey season at Goblin Grunt, where he is one of the largest outfitters in the country and Goblin Grunt is a sought-after location for turkey, deer, and greater prairie chicken. Back. 
I think one thing that makes James a great outfitter is his true passion for introducing people to the part of Nebraska where he grew up. Hey, Gobble and Durant, that's the place to go, right? Is, yeah. The Zone is brought to you by Brownells, the world's largest supplier of firearm accessories and gunsmithing tools. Thompson Center, Nikon, Blackhorn 209, Gallery of Guns, Under Armour, Real Avenue, Firefly, Lethal Human Scent Elimination, and Bill Jordan's Real Tree. Family, friends, and the outdoors. He hit him good. The stress of four days coming down to that moment is beautiful and hell all wrapped in one. Could have taken one thing out of the mix and it wouldn't happen. Yeah. But, you know, just all came together. And everything shining just right. Like, that moment on the mountain was one of the most euphoric moments of my hunting career. Who could have known what was going to happen next? 347. I'm on him. James may be able to outshoot and outclimb me, but I know one thing, he can't outfish me. And I guess that doesn't really count on a hunting show, does it? See him? One thing about it, we will kill this deer tomorrow morning. He's so that patternable. Now, of course, it's never that easy with whitetails. You think you got them figured out, and then they do something different. And I can tell you, that was in the front of my mind. I could see flashes of horn, I could see his body, and I had no shot. All right, he's moving. He's about to step out. There he is. Good shot, good shot. You hit him. All right, he's down. <laughs> good shot, man. That was awesome. Nice shot. That was beautiful. Yeah, he's got it all. He's got good length, good feet, nice and wide, perfect temperature. Look at those ties. Look at that spread. You know what really makes me sick? I have to diet and work out for a month to lose five pounds, and James has to work out to gain weight. It was like a feeling I've never felt. I mean, you didn't think it was going to happen, and all of a sudden, there we were. We were in the zone and closing in. <sighs> yeah, I think I'll be clear. He had boiled right off of that hillside and crashed right into the middle of that lake, and there he was. I've never seen it before, I've probably never seen it again. I hope not. <laughs> it was cold. So if James is a pilot, why does he always get motion sickness? He's not in here, is he? He's just got everything and he's got everything pretty. Yeah. You know? I'm very happy. Big mature whitetail, absolute trophy. He'll look great on the wall, and I'll never forget this hunt. These 
pretzels are really making me thirsty. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that on TV. <laughs> like a pretty big bear track. Oh. Unbelievable adventure, nothing like it ever. This will go down as one of the most amazing hunts of my life. Kamchatka. This portion of the zone is brought to you by Gobble and Grunt Outfitters. This is a deer hunt morning. Six below and snow on it. This portion of the zone is brought to you by Thermocell. Stand up to the cold. As I said earlier, James has hunted all over, but his absolute favorites are those remote and physical mountain hunts in the pristine wilderness. And that's where we're going to join him right now. Well, it's a beautiful time in the Northwest Territories. The leaves are turning, the caribou are losing their velvet. We're tying off this morning. We're going to spend the whole day on the tops of those mountains. We start walking ridges and glasses for sheep. It should be a fun day. Boy, he really tips out nice on the right. Yeah, that's a big one. That's, those are the ones we're after. We've got a beautiful ram in front of us about half a mile away, maybe three quarters. We got quite a bit of country to get through to get to him, but he's in a nice spot to get to get him shot. To. We're so sneaky we snuck right past the sheep. Yeah, we could take a stroll down this ridge real sneaky like and keep yeah. our eyes on them and they might give us a chance. Oh, there comes the other one. Is that big one broken? I thought they were broke. One was broke. The one on the right, I don't think he's broke. How far is he? 339 yards. All right, let's set up one. Oh, he's moving off though. As soon as he turns, where is he now? 465 miles. He's got to turn though, man. He's got to turn. Oh, come on. Turn, turn, turn. If he gets past five, I'm not taking him. I don't, I don't feel comfortable with it. But in these kind of conditions, rain, mm, 500 and some yards, and I think we'll have to wait on these guys and shoot them another day. Well, we found two awful nice rams, that's for sure. Those, those two rams are just stunning. Dave and Dallas are true horse people, so they have really good stock and it's really nice to ride these horses these things are county fair horses they were they were made for this purpose and they're good at it we're afraid the wind might go right up that gut to the rams it's just under 500 yards here so we're just not making any ground Closed captioning provided by Bog Pod, the sticks with the red grips. Whatever you're hunting, 
Hunt the wind with Firefly, the electronic wind detector. Right at 400. It's times like this that I'm glad I did my homework when I was back home. Plug in your bullet and your scope into this uh, spot on program. As close as we can, could be 350, could be four, could be 450. Caribou coming up behind us. This place is great. Don't go that way. Do not go that way. He went about the only direction he could go without us being able to make a play on him today. Very well may be that this is the end of our day. Fifth day on these same rams, third stock and three different drainages. We've been really lucky to find them every day, but we've been really unlucky when it came time to the stock. This thing's going wrong, but we'll see maybe third time to try. Physical conditioning on a hunt like this is, is important. You know, you don't have to be in pro athlete condition. You just need to be in the best shape that you can be so that you'll enjoy the hunt, so that you won't get hurt. Right on the horizon. It's a doll shape that sheep hunters dream about. Can't shoot because you don't know this gun. Let's pass over this hill. They're down. I'm going to tell him you're not. Okay. Get this out of my way. He's down, he's oh. down, you got him. Oh. He made me climb to the top of his world in the Mackenzie Mountains. The very top. Wow. The Mackenzie Mountain doll sheep king right there. Isn't he gorgeous? Wow. Look at that. Mm. Twelve and a half. Twelve and a half year old ram. Wow. You know, it was almost like we hunted him on his terms this week. We did. Thanks again, man. It was an awesome hunt. Awesome adventure here at Redstone Trophy Hunts. The Zone is brought to you by The Sportsman Guy, America's largest supplier of name brand hunting gear at closeout prices. Tinks Magnetics, 40 years of science triggering a buck's instinct to fight and breathe. The Can Cooker, just load the food and cater to your crowd with a can cooker. Icon Trail Cameras, store Black Widow Quick Shots from Big Game Tree Stands. CampbellCameras.com. Order your camera today and start enjoying the sport of filming hunts. Barnett Crossbows. Scary light and scary fast shooting over 400 feet per second. Brownells. Gobble and Grunt Outfitters. And the Magnum Hunt Club. Your adventure starts here. Woo! Yeah! That is so not refreshing. Woo! Oh, brain freeze.